for Vibe 105. I'm Fatima Hussain, and today we're discovering Saladin Allah. Saladin is an educator, activist, descendant of a freedom seeker, and a community liaison at the Niagara Falls Underground Railroad Heritage Center in New York. He recently featured in the CBC documentary Secret Agents of the Underground Railroad, uncovering an incredible piece of black history. Thanks for joining us here today. Thank you as well, Fatima. The documentary Secret Agents of the Underground Railroad showcases a focal point for the North American Black Resistance Movement. Now, in particular, mm -hmm. it uncovers the long buried secrets of the Cataract House Hotel. Mm -hmm. um, for our audiences, could you briefly talk about what the significance of this chapter is in North American Black history? Wow. So when you think about the Underground Railroad Network, you're talking about a resistance movement. You're actually talking about one of the first human rights movements within North America. Um, cities like Niagara Falls, New York, Buffalo, New York, all of these border towns actually represented sanctuary cities of the past and were instrumental in establishing some of the most active underground railroad networks. Because when you think about freedom seekers taking a journey from the south, once they arrived to the north, it was literally one river for them to cross to get to the Canadian side. So the communities that were in these border cities were vitally important in terms of helping freedom seekers get across to the Canadian side. But I've only recently learned about the literal life and death dramas that happen there at an upscale hotel on the American side of the border. They served five course meals. They had marble fireplaces. It was an experience for people. It was called the Cataract House. And inside, it's like a, a spy story. A secret resistance cell rescued enslaved people. Cecilia and her silent guide slipped out the garden gate. Success lay in secrecy. Now archaeologists are digging deep to bring these legendary stories back to life. 